Former President Noteu has settled an old debt to the nation and finally repaid the $21 million in unpaid fines he owes for corruption charges. But another former president, Chun Doo-wan, has yet to pay up. But as the government moves forward with its wide-reaching campaign against tax evasion and corruption, the pressure is on. Kim Hyun-bin reports. Former Korean President Chun Doo-wan is expected to repay millions of dollars in unpaid fines to the government after being convicted of taking bribes while in office in the 1980s. He was ordered to pay the fines in 1997, but he refused to do so for years. But now, with the government cracking down on tax evasion and attempting to right the wrongs of the past, the pressure is on Chun to pay what he owes. Chun's second eldest son, Chae Young, said he would pay up to 91 million U.S. dollars of the fine during questioning by the Seoul Central Prosecutor's Office on Tuesday. Prosecutors had summoned Chae Young for questioning on suspicions that he had evaded taxes through shady real estate purchases, primarily abroad. Chae Young is the first of the former president's four children to be questioned. The sum is just part of the $152 million in unpaid fines owed by the former dictator after he was ordered in 1997 to return to the nation. $200 million in illegal funds amassed during his presidency. Prosecutors also plan to question the dictator's eldest son, Che Ku, the CEO of Shigongsa, one of the leading publishing companies in the nation. Che Kuk is suspected of laundering his father's slush funds through purchase of art and property under borrowed names, and also via a paper company in the British Virgin Islands. The former president was sentenced to life in prison in 1997 and was ordered to pay fines for leading an insurrection and accepting bribes while in power from 1980 to 1987. The pressure is on for Chun to pay up, as former President Do tae who was sentenced with Chun back in 1997, coughed out the remainder of the roughly $21 million in unpaid fines that he owes on Wednesday. The prosecution says that Noah's son's father-in-law paid over $7.2 million of the fine on Monday, and the rest was paid by Ro's younger brother, Ro Jae-woo, early on Wednesday. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.